45 pound grapplers from the Midwest and beyond battling it out for $1,000 cash. First up, representing 10th Planet Omaha, Kaylin Hester. And next up, representing Kindred Jiu Jitsu, Austin Duck Jitsu Daffron. All right, here we go. The start of our last division of the day. The men's 145 round table. Advanced rules. On the left-hand side, Kaylin Hester of 10th Planet Omaha. On the right-hand side, our flyweight champion, the 125-pound champion, jumping up to get some matches at 145 pounds after the flyweight tournament fell apart. Austin Duck Jitsu Daffron, excited to see what he puts together in our 145 pound division. Immediately in on that snap down, Kalen Hester able to free the head and get back to a neutral position here. And Austin's being really aggressive here, really going after the head, looking for those front headlock entries. Um, and I like it, I like seeing this action happen. I know Austin has been improving his wrestling and his judo. He said that was one of his goals coming into the flyweight tournament that we initially had planned now in the men's 145 pound round table. And you see him uh, looking to, to utilize those same skill sets that he's been working on over the previous months. And we're seeing that here, a lot of snap downs, a lot of uh, foot, foot sweeps attempts. Uh, Austin's really bringing it. And, and Looking for that front headlock, high oh, elbow wow. guillotine immediately, but Kalen Hester able to, to punch out the back door here, but Austin catches an arm on the way through, but not enough to, uh, to solidify a position, and we're back in the standing position. Lots of action here in the first minute of our men's 145-pound roundtable first-round matchup between Kalen Hester of 10th Planet Omaha and Austin Daffron of Kindred Jiu-Jitsu. And once we drop the weight down to 145, you know, these guys move a lot. They I'm, absolutely do. I myself, I'm pushing, I'm a little over two bills at the moment, and this is making me tired already. Austin coming back to his Austin feet after the takedown attempt. That. I think Austin might be looking. Oh, no, foot's on the outside. I thought we were going to see him go for a jumping uh, flying scissor. And here he's trying to break that grip, really put pressure on that shoulder to stop Kalen from taking him down, keeping that head up, using his own head to kind of put pressure and Kalen now reversing that and, and getting Austin away from him. We want to see the takedown here, and uh, Austin is really doing his best to fight it. Coming in on that leg entry, going to the opposite leg, and Austin's going to come up on that. He uses that outside heel hook to get himself on top in that position. Kalen Hester, great defense there, able to turn out and ch as Austin chases that heel. Good pressure on the chin there by Austin. That is not a comfortable position to be in. Kalen Hester looking to go in on the leg here, but he's got almost like an electric chair, but the legs passed across the body here. Just kind of an awkward position for Austin. We have about Kalen from that 10th planet system, so uh, looking to utilize that electric chair position or use it to come up and sweep here. We do have about 10 seconds before points are to be scored, uh, but Kalen's going to come up here anyway right into a kind of an over-under pass position. Austin to defend, using those frames to push away the head, push away the shoulder, and come up behind him. Oh, and we have kind of a face choke, but it's starting to get under the chin there. Austin now crawling away. And we're gonna get a reset. Great action here between Kaitlin Hester of 10th Planet Omaha and Austin Daffron of Kindred Jiu-Jitsu in the first matchup of our men's 145 pound round table. We're going to reset the position here. A little jockey for position here as we have the reset. Kalen trying to get that full twister hook in there. And he's got it. And he's got Wow. Wow. That is a crazy shot here provided by Chris Setzer of Space Walker Productions. Austin able to backwards roll out of that position. Just insane positioning that we're seeing in this match. Just not something we expected to see. And Austin going for the toll hold. Kalen able to straighten the leg out here and keep himself safe for now. Might turn into a knee bar transition, but Austin abandons the leg lock attempt and comes up in the side control position. We are going to see three points scored 
by Austin Daffron here, and he takes a 3-0 lead with just a little over two minutes left to go here in the first matchup of our men's 145-pound roundtable. And what a recovery. I mean, <laughs> I can only dream of being in positions like that. <laughs> And uh, Austin, uh, using j just to back roll out, back up to his feet, getting the, the, the sweep, or not the sweep for the points, but getting back up to his feet and getting the pass. We're starting on the feet now. Wow, beautiful takedown take from Kaylin Hester. That's a two-point takedown there for Kaylin Hester. Looks like we're going to reset in a similar position before the, uh, no, the points are on the board. It's currently... Three to two with Austin Daffron winning at the moment. However, Kaylin Hester attacking the back, looking to get to a better position here. He's got the leg hooked um, and starting to work his way around the hips, Look right to the trunk, slicer. right to that truck position. He's able to get to the toes there. He might have a finishing position. Austin trying to go for the toe, or sorry, the calf slicer as well as a as a, a recounter. Just over one minute left in this match. Looking for the twister here. He's got the arm. He's putting it behind his head. Wow. Kalen Heston looking to thread that left arm behind the head. Austin obviously cognizant of it. We have about 45 seconds left with Kalen looking for this twister. Austin starting to recover that arm. With this little time left, could be beneficial for Kalen to just get the back points and, and take the lead here. Wow, and if he is able to get that second hook hooks. and maintain that position, he's got a strong neck cranking position. Both hooks in. And Kalen Hester does take the 5-3 lead here. Is he just gonna get the submission finish in the waning moments of this match? Just 10 seconds left. Austin getting to his feet. Trying to Looking shake to him shake down. Shake him off in this position. Kalen does give up the bottom position. I'm not sure if we're going to see two points scored for that or not. We do not. Austin Baker, or sorry. There's a little bit of controversy question here. We do have two points scored for Austin Daffron. We're going to go to an overtime, right? A, Five to five going into the overtime or period. Interested to see uh, how that was going to shake out there. The referee did give the two points there for the reversal. And now Austin Daffron looking to take the back. Oh, look at that cross face. Clinical. Into the triangle. And, and he gets it with an armbar finish there in the overtime period of the first matchup in our men's 145 pound round table. Austin Duck Jitsu Daffron taking the submission victory over Kalen Hester of 10th Planet Omaha. Amazing matchup there between two 145 pound grapplers. Excited to see those two uh, as they continue through this round table.